When the world lost its mind, when common sense suddenly became an uncommon virtue, Florida was a refuge of sanity, a citadel of freedom for our fellow Americans and even for people around the world. Ron DeSantis has decided to put his people first. Ron DeSantis taking a lot of heat over it, but he's not backing down. Florida's success has been made more difficult by the floundering federal establishment in Washington, D.C. An inflationary spending binge that has left our nation weaker and our citizens poor. It has enacted pandemic restrictions and mandates. It has recklessly facilitated open borders. It has imposed an energy policy that has crippled our nation's domestic production. This has caused many to be pessimistic about the country's future. Some even say that failure is inevitable. Florida is proof positive that we the people are not destined for failure. DeSantis wins. He has made a promise and he's making good on the promise. Florida is leading the nation. We are the nation's fastest growing state. We rank number one in education freedom. We are number one in economic freedom. Florida also ranks number one in public higher education. This is a record we can all be proud of. That's why the left hates Governor DeSantis because he's a winner. That's what the guy does, he wins. Decline is a choice. Success is attainable. And freedom is worth fighting for.